If you've decided to leave the conventional path and you've become a solo developer or you're thinking about it, why is it sometimes so difficult to know what the next step should be? With a seemingly unlimited number of software projects you could be involved in, freelance gigs, or even creating your own educational products, it can sometimes feel so overwhelming that you literally don't know what to do and end up doing nothing. Well, obviously that's not gonna get you to the dream that was probably the reason you signed up to this in the first place, building software you actually care about with more independence and the ability to write your own paycheck. Well, after quitting my software development career four years ago, I know exactly how this feels. And currently I'm earning an income through a combination of book sales, ad revenue and coaching fees. But there comes a point where you look at where you've got to and think this is good, but I could be doing a lot more. So in this video, I'm gonna share three powerful questions that will help you get to the next level and avoid ever going back to that nine to five. So the first question to ask yourself is what are you already doing that you could improve? Maybe you already have some freelancing clients, but you could increase the rates or land more gigs, or maybe you already have a SaaS product that's attracting customers, and there's a way you could increase the traffic source to generate more leads. Well, here's an example from my experience. I wrote an ebook a few years ago about a Java build tool and it's still selling today. Well, since then I've been working on lots of different projects and it wasn't until recently that I went back to reconsider how I'm marketing the book and also the quality of the book itself. I realized I could create a much better landing page for my book, including a preview of the first few chapters, which I launched the other day. And reading through the book itself, it seems like my grasp of English has improved over the last few years, and I'm planning to rewrite it just to improve the flow. So if you've launched something that's working even just a little bit, what new skills or knowledge could you apply to that to take it to the next level? Next question is, what value do you have that you haven't yet figured out how to unlock? So the cool thing about software developers is they've all got their own unique story. Some of us have experience working for well-known companies. Some of us were doing a completely different job beforehand and transitioned into development later. Whatever experience you have, you probably have a unique skill set that you haven't yet truly recognized for its value. So maybe you mastered a really tricky technology that most people struggle to understand, or maybe you've just built a certain type of software so many times that you've become extremely efficient at it. Or maybe you got really good at landing freelancing clients, but you don't actually like doing the freelance work itself. Try to think of the experience that you take for granted and you automatically assume everybody else knows. Well, the fact is that they don't and to the right person, that knowledge, expertise or whatever else could be extremely valuable if you packaged it in the right way. As an example, I'm sharing my experience of four years as a solo developer on this YouTube channel. And although it's very cool that I can help people in individual videos like this one, I've been thinking about how I could unlock my value and help people out on a deeper level. For me, that might be some kind of guide or ebook. For you, it could be a coaching program, software product, or anything else. The fact is that we've all got valuable experience to share. And sometimes if you can't figure out what the next step to take on your journey is, you're just not being creative enough in how to unlock that value. Third question here is, what would be a guaranteed way to help others in the next one to two months? It's tempting to tell ourselves when we're talking about reaching the next level that it's got to be some big heroic thing that feels hard to do. Well, what if the next step was hiding literally under your nose? Think about the contacts you currently have, LinkedIn connections, social media followers, maybe an email list. All these people that you're connected with, they know you and they're the people that you're most likely to be able to help in the next couple of months. And the reason I say one to two months is because I want you to focus on the people that you already know rather than do anything like trying to build an audience that might take a lot longer. This could be as simple as reaching out to people you previously worked with to see what their situation is and whether there's a way you could help them, maybe with freelance work. 
This could be re-engaging your email list and trying to find out what they most need help with. For me, I have to always remind myself how lucky I am to have a list of people who trusted me enough to give me their email address and to have an audience of viewers here on YouTube. Whoever your network is, I think that if you set yourself a time limit and you forced yourself to get a bit more creative, you'd surprise yourself at what product you could launch or service you could offer to this existing network. The final thought I want to leave you with is that you chose this path probably because you want to find more meaning in the work that you do. Well, if you ever find yourself losing your sense of excitement for your work, it's potentially lack of clarity on the way forward. And just by asking a few simple questions, you can get yourself back on track and start making progress again. See you in the next one.